Hey there friends and enemies, Joker here again, and today I wanted to react to the Honkai Star Rail Interstellar Journey official release trailer, but also talk about whether I'm going to be free to play, battle pass uh, type player, uh, or a complete whale in this game going forward. I'll get to that after I watch the trailer, but I really wanted to give my thoughts on the game and some lessons that I've learned after playing Genshin Impact. So let's jump into the Honkai Star Rail trailer, because this game looks like so much fun, and I hope it gives the Genshin Impact Day 1 vibes that I got back in the day. The character design from Hoyoverse is always just so good. And their trailers are excellent. Their cutscenes as well, very, very good. Himiko, S tier. Can't wait to get her. She's gonna be my number one character, I believe. Although Celia also looks pretty lit. Yeah, character design looking pretty spicy so far. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm in. This has got anime feels so hard and I love it. I like that big hammer. The bosses look great. It feels like the variety of weapons is going to be very, very cool in this game, which I love. Like, that's sick right there. I'm in. Yeah, available. Actually, so today is April 25th. It will be available Eastern Time, 10 p.m. And so for me, it's coming out today. I, I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a game that I've been waiting for for some time to mix it up because I've kind of uh, faded a little bit with Genshin Impact. I mentioned that in some other videos as well. Uh, I was a day one Genshin player. And the lessons I've learned are this, right? Uh, one, if... Genshin is any indication you'll probably be able to do everything within the game without having to whale so I'm gonna go completely free to play I'm gonna make videos as a free to play player and cover the game in that way just because I feel like it provides more of a challenge makes things a little bit more interesting sure I can't whale and get all these new characters and do guides and all that kind of good stuff but I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people doing that instead I'm gonna show it from a free to play casual player perspective and give my thoughts that way so that's going to be just my personal choice, and you can play the game as you want. Just understand that there's going to be a lot of great characters going forward, and don't overshoot if you don't get the character that you want and feel like you're forced to purchase them and get their uh, – I know they're not called constellations in this game, but get their upgrades by getting multiple copies of the different characters. You don't need to do any of that. Uh, other lessons that I've learned – do your dailies, but don't let them burn you out, right? If uh, you're going to get enough resources, especially with events and with doing the story, that as long as you're only leveling up the characters that you really enjoy first and then saving the other characters for later, once you've kind of settled down, you're not getting characters at the same frequency you are in the early game because initially you're going to get a lot of wishes. You're going to get a lot of characters available to you. Uh, wish on the... Special banners as well. Make sure you do that. That's one thing that I think a lot of people don't think about when they're they're pulling on the banners initially is that if you wish on the common banner, you miss out on the chance to get the special character. And we've seen it in other games like Genshin Impact. Some of the characters who initially everyone's like, okay, this character sucks, not going to be very good, just doesn't do very well. Then we get them and come to find out they get a synergy down the line. They combo with certain characters and they actually are cracked. So if you like the design of a character, if you like the play style of a character, if you like the look of a character, wish for that character. Go chase that character because ultimately you can make all of them work and you don't, you shouldn't feel hampered just because this is the meta character that everybody wants to run. That's my personal thoughts on, on Honkai and lessons I've learned, like I said, from Genshin, some other things. 
explore everything enjoy the ride don't rush through uh content because it'll always be there this game is going to be around for a while if genshin is in any indication so you don't really need to feel forced through especially if you're going to burn yourself out because i think that's the biggest danger with these gotcha games is one feeling the need like you have to spend money on certain things and then two feeling like you have to rush through to get to the end game content or whatever type of content is waiting for you at the end of the road so you have all your characters maxed out you're busting through content you're overpowered all that stuff it'll come in time as long as you take you stay a little bit patient um yeah overall i'm really excited i can't wait for the the team-based turn-based combat which is going to be a lot different from genshin but otherwise uh i'm going to take it easy document my playthrough as a solo as a uh free-to-play player and kind of go over everything that i learned uh the characters that i do get the team compositions that i enjoy all of that kind of good stuff so anyway uh, i know i went on a little bit of a ramble but that's just my thoughts on everything my name is jopa subscribe to the channel if you want to see my entire journey as a free-to-play player in honkai star rail like the video my name is jopa i hope you have a good one i'll catch you all later